welcome President Obama and Governor Romney. Now I'm concerned that the path that we're on has just been unsuccessful. The president has a view very similar to the view he had when he ran four years ago, that a bigger government, spending more, taxing more, regulating more, if you will, trickle-down government would work. That's not the right answer for America. I'll restore the vitality that gets America working again. Uh, the approach that Governor Romney is talking about is the same sales pitch that was made in 2001 and 2003. And we ended up with the slowest job growth in 50 years. We ended up moving from surplus to deficits, and it all culminated in the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. The fact is that if you are lowering the rates the way you describe, Governor, then it is not possible to come up with enough deductions and loopholes that only affect high-income individuals to avoid either raising the deficit or burdening the middle class. It's, it's math. It's arithmetic. But the right answer is not to have the federal government take over health care and start mandating to the providers across America telling a, a patient and a doctor what kind of treatment they can have. That's the wrong way to go. The private market and individual responsibility always work best. At some point, I think the American people have to ask themselves, is, is the reason that Governor Romney uh, is keeping uh, all these plans to replace secret because they're too good? Is it, is it because that somehow uh, middle class families are going to benefit too much from them? No, the, the, the reason is because uh, when we reform Wall Street, when we uh, tackle the problem of pre-existing conditions, right. then you know, these are tough problems, and we've got to make choices. Right. And the choices we've made have been ones that ultimately are benefiting middle-class families right. all across the country.